Now to some education news. A Houston County woman shared her experience on our Facebook page about the problems she's faced with remote learning for her special needs child. Our morning reporter Pepper Baker joins us live with more on how the district says it's helping their students with disabilities. Good morning, Pepper. Good morning, Erin. Yes, I think it's safe to say that working remotely was a challenge for all families and students. For special education students, getting access to the district's resources is much easier in person. But imagine having to recreate that immersive learning environment online. Well, one woman left a comment on our Facebook post saying that it was quite overwhelming. A Houston County woman shared on our Facebook her remote learning experience with her nonverbal autistic child as being a complete bust, depressing and overwhelming. Houston County Schools Director of Student Services Jenny Millward says she wants to help families like hers feel at ease with their resources for special education students. We uh, were really excited to be able to provide parent training as well. Um, we also developed quite extensive lists um, for every area in special education, um, from social skills to activities of daily living, speech, occupational and physical therapy, um, lists of resources and activities that could be easily implemented at home. They gathered feedback from parent surveys on ways to improve remote learning in the fall with specialized help. We were able to incorporate the um, sign language interpreters, the educational interpreters into their lessons um, and allow those teachers gave those t um, interpreters access with our nonverbal students. It involves um, a lot of collaboration with the speech language pathologist, with the teacher and the parent. And so we have been trying um, a lot of different avenues in combining all those professionals to be able to meet the needs of those kids. Every special education student has a case manager they can reach out to for help with the district offering in-person and remote learning in the fall, Millward says they'll meet with each family to come up with the best instructional plan. But we certainly encourage them to reach out to their case manager so that we can immediately respond and, and work with them and collaborate on the best plan for their student. Now, one thing I thought was very interesting was Millward says they're using communication boards, which shows pictures of hand gestures, symbols or facial expressions that represent a word that students can use to, as a response for their assignments. Reporting live in Houston County, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. Thank you for that, Pepper. Such an important topic there. Millward says they will meet with each family again to go over their preferred instructional method for this coming year.